Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Magnus Carlsen and Ernst that was played in the Netherlands in 2004. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Ernst played c6, d4, d5. Karo Khan defends. Knight to c3. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on e4. Bishop to f5, attacking the knight. Knight to g3, attacking bishop. Bishop to g6. h4, threat is h5. h6 was played. Knight to f3. Knight to d7, preventing a knight to e5 by white. h5. Bishop to h7. Bishop to d3. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. e6. Black wants to bring dark square bishop in the game. Bishop to f4. Knight from g to f6. Carlsen castle at queenside. Bishop to e7. Knight to e4 was played. King to b1 is the most popular move. Knight to e4. Queen to a5. Threatening queen takes pawn on a2. King to b1. Black casted kingside. It is white to move. Three most popular moves in this position are knight to e5 g4 and the move played in the game and that is knight takes knight on f6 knight takes knight knight to e5 rook from a to d8 c5 is coming so the best is to move the queen of d file the most popular move in this position is queen to g3 with the threat of bishop takes pawn on h6. Carlsen played queen to e2. c5 was played. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is a white to move and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. One thing is to find the killer move. Another thing is, would you really play this in your game? Okay, in the game, knight to g6, knight sacrifice. Pawn takes knight. What else? Well, this is another way to continue. And after knight takes bishop, rook takes knight, pawn takes pawn. Let's see what happened in the game. In the game, black captured knight. Queen takes on e6, check. King to h8. What happens if queen takes bishop? then black can play something like knight to d5. In the game, Carlsen captured pawn on g6, attacking bishop, so if something like queen to b6 is played, queen takes bishop. Black played knight to g8, defending the bishop, and knight is now adding more protection to pawn on h6. And we have reached another critical position of the game. It is white to move and to play a killer move again. So how should white continue? Carlsen captured pawn on h6 with bishop. Pawn takes bishop. 
Rook takes on h6. Amazing. Knight takes rook. Bishop on e7 is no longer defended. Queen takes bishop. And threat is queen to h7. Check. Mate. Knight to f7. Pawn takes knight. Rook may be coming to h1 next move. So king to g7 was played. Rook to d3. Rook lift. Rook is heading for g3. What is material balance? Carlsen has four pawns for the rook. Materially, then black is better. But of course there is a problem. And that is black's king safety. Can he stop checkmate? Well, there is a way to stop checkmate. And that is, for example, queen to b6. But the cost is losing the queen. Check. And after queen to g6, rook takes queen check. King takes rook d5. And black can try rook to h8 with the threat of checkmate. But after a3, white is still winning so instead of queen to b6 and queen to g6 black tried rook to d6 with the idea to block the check with rook is rook for free now no if a queen takes rook then queen to e1 Okay, so Carlsen continued with rook to g3, check. Rook to g6. Queen to e5, check. Carlsen is very accurate. King takes pawn on f7. Check. And rook to f6 was played. If black plays king to e7, White can't capture rook on g6 because of checkmate. So after king to e7, Carlsen would play rook to e3 first, covering e1. And only after king moves to, say, d6, what else? Then queen takes rook with check and white is still winning. In the game, Black played rook to f6. It is white a move and to checkmate in one. What is the move? It is queen to d7. Check mate. Brilliantly played by young Carlsen. Carlsen was only 12. And this game was played. Amazing. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.